Hey Leo, thank you for checking out my channel for the love of water to row. My name is Kianti and I'm going to bring you a love reading for July 2020. Again, these messages are going to be for the sign of Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. If you're cross-watching for a Leo, it could definitely resonate from your perspective. Guys, it is a general reading, so all the messages won't resonate for every Leo. Be sure to keep what resonates for you and check what doesn't. If they do resonate for you, my beautiful, my beautiful fiery lions, please give me a like, comment, subscribe, or share. And if you're interested in booking me for a private reading, my email information is in the description box below, okay? Guys, again, the messages are intended to be about love, but they can resonate in other areas such as family, friends, or work. All right? I appreciate you guys taking the time to watch my videos, and I hope I'm able to bring you messages of peace, light, love, and clarity. All right, for my beautiful Leos and love for July 2020 spirit. Any messages for Leo and love? Okay, the Wheel of Fortune. You could be dealing with the Sagittarius, but there's something destined and faded happening here. I don't feel like this is bad fortune. It popped out pretty triumphantly, so I feel like your fortune is about to change here, Leo. Seven of Swords, the Hermit. Ooh, okay, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini energy here, Virgo energy here. So, there is some sort of karmic, destined, faded event that's coming here, okay? I do feel like it's going to go in your favor. There is some sort of deception involving possibly a Virgo or a Sag. Now, I do have someone doing a deep introspection. A hermit is, is someone doing deep, deep introspection, okay? This, this is someone who's not speaking, but they're, they're, they're looking, they're investigating. Leo, if you have if you have something being investigated, some sort of deception or something like that, the Wheel of Fortune is getting ready to turn in your favor in this. If you're dealing with the Sag or Virgo, if there's something here about someone being sneaky and deceptive, or Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, there's something about destined fates. There's something destined and fated that's about to happen with this, okay? Give me more for Leo, Spirit, and Love for July 2020. The Emperor. This is Aries energy, Taurus energy, divine masculine energy. There could definitely be something about something being investigated here, okay? This could definitely be something legal. Somebody could definitely be investigating something legal and it's getting ready to turn in your favor here. Give me more for Leo. I have divine masculine energy, Leo again. Put, your, put yourself where you go in this. This could be worth the sun. There you are, Leo. There you are. Yes, let's go. King of Wands. All right. Okay, there's a King of Wands up under here. Ten of Cups, Two of Swords. Okay. So there's a King of Wands up under here. This could definitely be dealing with family because Ten of Cups is Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, energy. But there is a King of Wands here. I do feel like this is someone that's passionate and fired up here. There's definitely some sort of fortune that's getting ready to turn. There's something that's going to be there's something that's about to be illuminated here. This emperor could be investigating something and he's getting ready to bring you some sort of abundance or illumination because there's a King of Wands here and I feel like he's He's involved with this Ten of Cups, which has something to do with your ultimate happiness. Happiness, home, family, and there's Two of Swords and the Five of Swords. Yeah, there's a decision here. The moon, it's unknown, and someone is waiting on it, the world, for a cycle to close out the fool. Yep, to start a whole new beginning and manifest something, a star. Yep. Okay, so this is how I'm seeing it, Leo. Let's go ahead and get into it. Again, I have the Wheel of Fortune. This is Sag energy. I have the Seven of, the seven of Swords, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini energy. I have the Hermit, which is Virgo energy. I have the Emperor, which is Aries or Taurus or Divine Masculine Energy. This could definitely be a boss, an authority figure, a business owner, a judge. Okay, this could definitely be someone official, okay? And then I have you, Leo, the sun, but this is the happiest card in tarot. This is illumination, abundance, blessings, okay? And I feel like this Emperor may be looking into something. Or getting ready to take some sort of action. There has Someone here is doing a deep dive into something deceptive, okay? Or someone is doing a deep dive, thinking about making some sort of offer towards you, but they're keeping this very secret. Because the Hermit and the Seven of Swords is someone who's definitely not showing their hand, okay? They're not showing their intentions. I don't feel like that they're speaking... I don't feel like they're speaking what they're feeling or what they're thinking right now. And it has something to do with your karma, your your fortune here, your fate. But it turns out in your favor here, though, Leo. It's the sun. So you're going to get a blessing in this. And whatever decision that, the, that you're waiting on this emperor from, or this divine masculine, again, I, I have Sag energy, Virgo energy, 
have you here. You could definitely be dealing with another Leo. You could be dealing with an Aries. You could definitely could be dealing with an Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. But let's see what we get for this Leo. This, this is definitely, I feel like this is kind of specific. If it resonates for you, please let me know, okay? I definitely read all the comments. I appreciate every view, okay? Why is the Wheel of Fortune here for Leo in love for July 2020, Spirit? Make it plain for me. Why is this Wheel of Fortune here for Leo in love? For July 2020 spirit. Oh, 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 oh. The Ace of Cups and the Two of Cups. They flipped. And look at this. The Eight of Pentacles. So listen. This is water energy. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy. But this is a soulmate connection. Listen. You you have something destined. Fate, something destined and faded coming your way. Okay. The Wheel of Fortune is turning in your side. This could definitely be a new baby or something like this. Because... I'm, I'm 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 getting baby vibes, Leo. Put it where it goes, but this this is the, the this is a soulmate connection. You're you're about to get a soulmate connection. The Eight of Pentacles is here. It's gonna definitely be getting some sort of offer for work that you truly truly want. This is Taurus Virgo Capricorn energy, but this could definitely be getting an offer from a Taurus Virgo Capricorn here. Something destined and faded here. The lovers, a Gemini, yeah, there's a deep connection. There's something manifesting here. And there's a decision come justice. I'm definitely feeling like for some of you, this is legal. Because I have the three of wands. Some of you are waiting on some sort of de legal decision here, possibly from an emperor. Or some sort of job offer or decision to be made here. Because I have judgment and justice, okay? Five of cups and the nine of pentacles. Some of you have definitely been um, disappointed, waiting on something. Or there's been some sort of disappointment here. Why is the seven of swords here for Leo? Again, this may be something that you don't know. Someone could have been very deceptive. You may be getting ready to have some sort of... I feel like fortune could be... Destiny could be smiling down on you after some sort of deception, okay? It feels like you were done wrong here. And something is getting ready to turn around in that. The Page of Wands, communication. This could definitely be concerning children. The Ace of Swords and the Two of Swords. Yeah, see, there's been some sort of deception. And you're waiting on some sort of offer. Children could definitely be involved here. I have two pages. Page of Wands, Page of Pentacles. But there could have been definitely something that deceptive that happened. I feel like you, you're, you're probably waiting on this Ace of Swords, this truth to be spoken. Or you figured out the truth about this deception. And there's something about going on a new path here. Starting over, planning for the future. Things are moving along in the baby steps. Things could be moving along in the baby phases for you right now, Leo. But there's something about destiny, karma, and faith. There's, a real, there's some real true love and soulmate connection and happiness coming in. Three of Pentacles. Yeah, there's something about a connection here. There's something being healed. Someone is definitely rejecting an offer because there's some sort of chaos, but there's some sort of new beginning coming. Ace of Wands and the Fool and Strength. Yeah, there's some sort of battle, battle that's being fought, but someone's getting ready to get a new beginning here. Why is the Hermit here? Why is the Hermit here for Leo? The Wheel of Fortune again. Listen, I don't know who's investigating. I don't know if you're dealing with a Virgo or a Sag, but there's something about fate destiny here the will of fortune is turning there's new love coming in someone is taking a deep hard look at something they're looking in the mirror they're doing deep introspection on what they did the past whatever this is and it's turning out in your favor there's a three of cups something to celebrate something to rejoice cancer scorpio pisces energy there's definitely something going on here it goes your will of fortune goes from the ace of cups to the two of cups to the three of cups yeah this is this is destined whatever this is this is destined okay Seven of Cups, the Seven of Wands. See, there's a lot of confusion uh, involved in this. Someone could have definitely been deceptive. They could have caused a lot of drama and confusion, and now they're having to fight their way out of it. There's definitely some sort of contract or commitment coming, some, co coming in somewhere, some sort of divine commitment. You could, I saw a Taurus under there. You could definitely be dealing with a Taurus in your home or something to that effect. Why is the Emperor here? Justice. Yeah, this could definitely be legal. This could definitely be legal. The Knight of Swords. See, there's a there. Listen, there's someone in some sort of official position here. You could be dealing with the Libra, a Taurus, and Aries. But there is some sort of boss and authority figure here. It could definitely be um, legal. But this is some. This is definitely something official that's being looked into. And this could be karmic justice coming to you. Okay, the divine could be looking at what happened to you, Leo, and and getting ready to right some wrongs for you. Okay, but there's some sort of of, of swift, fast action. 
or some sort of severance that's happening. The high priestess. And there's someone here. You could be dealing with the Pisces. But there's someone here that's using their intuition. Yep, there's a soulmate connection here. And someone is, there's, someone's been feeling left out in the cold. There's been disappointment. There's been pettiness, mind games, manipulation. But there's some sort of huge healing coming in. You could be dealing with an Aquarius or Sag. But there's some sort of huge healing coming in on this, Leo. Why is the sun here? Wait a second, spirit. Why is the sun here for Leo? Make it plain for me. Whatever this is, this is the blessing coming into you. The cherry. You could be dealing with the cancer, but what did I tell you? There's about to be a blessing. There's triumph. There's forward movement. The two of wands. See, somebody's somebody's waiting on this. Somebody's waiting on this this communication, or someone is getting or someone's getting ready to take this action. You could definitely be getting ready to travel. Someone could definitely be getting ready to travel where it's sunny. <laughs> You could definitely be dealing with the Cancerian, but there's getting ready to be movement here. Triumph and movement, success and a blessing. And someone is just waiting on this, Leo. Possibly you. Yep, see? There's this deception going on. Someone is waiting on this deception to be over. And it's being looked at. And there's a King of Cups. There's someone making some sort of decision here. Okay? And he's deciding to either walk away from a family situation or he's sad because somebody walked away. There's something going on here, Leo. I got a feeling you know what it is if it resonates, though. Again, guys, this is what I see for you guys in love for July 2020. If the messages resonate, give me a like, comment, subscribe, or a share. And, um, again, if you're interested in booking me, my email information is in the description box below. I love you, you fiery lions, you. Take care of yourselves and each other until the next time. Bye, my empresses.